cold in New York. How about these fucking Jewish folks? What, the tunnel they were making under? <laughs> well, I, I'm reading about that. I don't even know what it means. Why would they hire uh, people to dig a hole? Um, I don't know exactly what's happening. All I know is very short clips that I found on the internet. But the funniest thing is this one guy on Twitter that was saying a while back, uh, I live on a, f- a ground floor apartment and I hear Jews underneath me. <laughs> And everybody's like, you're out of your fucking mind. Yeah, that's anti-Semitic. Exactly. And now he's like, I told you I wasn't crazy. <laughs> but this guy's was... <laughs> but what are they doing? Like, I-, I heard that they hired people to build, like, this tunnel, and they were hanging out, and, like, the people who lived there for, like, three weeks, these, like, migrant workers, were just digging this tunnel, and they stayed there for three weeks. But what's the purpose of it? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know anything. I just know that there's tunnels, and that there's, there's this one video of this guy coming out of the sewer... So he lifts a manhole cover, comes out of the sewer, and then he's fucking wandering around, this Hasidic Jewish guy, and everybody's like, what the fuck are you doing down there? Yeah, that's really bizarre. They wouldn't come out, too. The cops had to get them out. Like, they were like, we don't want to come out, and they were, like, charged with disorderly conduct. Or I, I don't know. The whole fucking world is just weird. What do you know about this, Jamie? Anything? <laughs> I haven't heard anything. <laughs> yeah. The best I've gotten is that, that they started making them during COVID, but that, like... It line it makes sense, but it also you see the tunnels. You're like, no way, that's not. You didn't do that in two years or a year or six months, or whatever it was. They weren't exactly nice tunnels either. They were just kind of shitty, rudimentary, basic holes. Right, like were they yeah. were they doomsdayers? Or that was they thought the world was gonna end. I... Wait a minute, the tunnels are so big that you don't think they could make them in two years? Is that what you're saying? Some of them look big. It's really? Like, I, how do you? I mean, some of them are saying they go mul- they're, they're going to multiple different buildings. It's like oh. a series of tunnels. It's not just a well, tunnel. Let's, let's look into this. I, they're look. still looking into it. I don't know. Like, that when did it discover it? Was it yesterday? It's only been discovered a couple of years ago. I forget how. A couple it, of years ago? Re- days ago. It, days uh, ago. Some, I forget even how they discovered it. I think they were looking. Uh, it's I'll probably that guy complaining. He probably heard something, and, and then maybe they saw somebody come out of the manhole cover, and somebody put two and two together. I have no idea what happened. Yeah, it's strange. But it's very bizarre. And then, of course, there's conspiracy theories and what are they doing down there and evil, evil theories. They immediately want to pour concrete in it, which makes sense because it's probably not safe. You got to, it's not supporting the weight of the, you know, of all the buildings above it. Yeah, you don't think of that when you move into an apartment building that some asshole might build a tunnel underneath <laughs> and collapse the fucking, collapse the building on you. <laughs> Imagine if you're on the ground floor and you're like, why does my floor have so much? Yeah. <laughs> These assholes are building a sinkhole under my house. Yeah, I don't, uh, but it's funny how, like, things are so crazy. Like, you read about something like that, and it doesn't even stand out that much. Like, we talk about it now, and then tomorrow will be some other weird shit. Right. Like, every day it's something weird. It's something crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's way more than ever before. Yeah. We got, we got, Jeremy. So here's what the New York News was saying. Like, <laughs> it happened on Monday afternoon, I guess, so it's very new. It's just something <laughs> about tunneling. Yeah. It's just so crazy. Yeah, like, that's such a commitment. Oh, yeah. Right Isn't it interesting, like, if you build on top of a building, it's no big deal. But you go under the building, like, what are you doing? Yeah, you're really destabilizing you're in a, you're that in a tunnel. For several hours, police pleaded with the young men to leave the entrance to the tunnel, according to the witnesses. After they refused, the officers covered the area with a wire curtain and entered the dusty crevasse with zip ties to detain the protesters. When they took the first person out with zip ties, that's when the outburst happened. Baruch Dahan, a 21-year-old study of the synagogue who videotaped the congregants fighting, Almost everyone was against what they did, but as soon as people saw the handcuffs, there was confusion and pushing. Footage posted to social media shows scores of onlookers, mostly young men, jeering at the NYPD's community affairs officers. Some lifted wooden desks into the air, sending prayer books scattering. In response, the officer appeared to deploy an irritating spray to disperse the group. So how did they find out about this? I don't know, but even after hearing that, I still know nothing about what they were doing or why. I think they're just starting to try to figure it out. So, so scroll down a little. Well, it didn't okay. have a good like explanation on what the initial call was for. It. I was trying. To, I was going to switch to a different article. That and why are they being that. called protesters? Like, what were they protesting? If you're just sitting in a tunnel, is that actually a protest? <laughs> everyone's a protester. Yeah. and everyone's an activist. Yeah. Uh, officials and locals said young men in the community recently built the passage to the sanctuary in secret. When the group's leaders tried to seal it off on Monday, they staged a protest that turned violent as police moved in to make arrests. I mean, it, huh. How long does it take to make a tunnel? 
They, I, I'm assuming a couple of years if it went that uh, that far. It all depends entirely on what's down there already. Were know? they putting po- dirt in their pockets like fucking <laughs> Shawshank? That's what they said they were doing. They had like dirt in their pockets. I saw that. That's a joke. I don't know if it was real. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! What an asshole endeavor. What a rough time for the Jews. It is, yeah, yeah. This doesn't. I mean, they're getting it from all angles. They really are. And then yeah. this on top of that. And, and and it's like the whole the whole planet just hates each other. Everybody fucking hates each other. It's weird, right? It is. I don't even think it's about the issues. I don't think people are necessarily people believe what they believe, but I think it's more the the addiction to arguing and the addiction to being angry. Like no matter what the subject, people mm-hmm. just hate each other if they give if, if someone gives the wrong answer, the people who think it's the wrong answer hate your guts. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. I the, 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 I think there's a lot of like very heavy stress in the world and people are relieving that stress through these sort of endeavors. You know, I don't, I don't think it's logical. No, it's not logical. And it's it's almost like people don't want the answer that's going to make sense. They want the answer that's going to enable them to get angry. Yeah. Like, it really is like when people try to go after somebody for jokes or whatever, it's self-serving. It's like, if I hear what you say, it's either going to make me feel better about my position or it's going to get me high because I'm angry at you. Yep. But it's always self-serving. It's, it's just, the whole thing is insincere. Well, it's all very exagger- exaggerated by social media. Social media has made everybody way more insane. And it's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse because of all this AI shit. It's, it's very strange. It's a very, very strange time to be alive. Just That's stop. a real person? Yeah, she made $57 million since COVID. Oh, my on God. Fans. Whoa. Like, how would you, like, if you married that girl, how would you tell her to get a regular job? I wouldn't. You can't. I'd be you happy she did it, yeah. Breakdown of- but if you were, like, like a, a guy who wasn't into that, wow, that's insane. <sighs> Yeah, if you're a guy who marries her and you think you're going to rescue her Ugh. and pull her out of there and she's making $57 million, it's you have the, to just accept that's her job. Half of it's from the messages part, which that's what you were just sort of saying, like probably not her messaging. Right. $27 million worth of messages. Whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. $27 million, guys, $27 million in money has been sent by guys? Well, that's... Just yeah. sending yeah. it her directly as a message. I love you. Ten, $10 million in just tips. That's on top of... That's just oh thank you for doing what you're. God. I'm already paying you for. How much is her monthly subscription? Uh, we could look at her page. But oh my God, that's incredible. Right what is she? What is she doing on there? Her, uh, I mean, her main thing is she came over from like Twitch. She's a cosplayer, so she dresses up like all the, uh, you know, characters online. And yeah, that can very, be sexy. She's very popular. That can be a little sexy. Somebody oh, kind of dressed. You ever go to like Comic Con once in a while? There's a lot of big fat fucks, but there's also a couple that are like I, that's attractive. I like that. I'm sure. A little 